Well, obviously, the first thing you'll do before you pass anything down into your Android device is you're going to set up your template. And this is the device test uh, template uh, that we provide with the Android installation. And you can see we get some changed up some of the labels here. Import from Pocket PC, uh, import from Android slash file. If we want to download, which is taking it from the PC and putting it into the PDA, we can click here. And you can see I've got two choices. I can go to the Pocket PC or I can go to the Android to pass it down here. But first of all, before we do that, we have to set up the communications between the PC and the Android device. Uh, the first step in connecting and downloading data to and from the PDA is to set up the USB connection between your smartphone, in this example, and the, um, and the PC you're working with. To do so, you come in and you're going to drag down the, uh, the banner from the top here. And notice you have the USB connected here. So select the copy and files from your, to and from your computer. You make that selection here. And you get this little uh, Android character here. And then it says, uh, it says phone connected. It actually isn't connected right now. You have to connect using this button down here. So we click on that. And that actually makes the uh, device become a drive uh, that you can see through your Windows Explorer. And we're going to use that in a moment here when we uh, connect to the um, uh, to the PC here. Okay, now you can see the, uh, the panel here. If I move it around, you'll see here are the various uh, folders that are in, inside here. And the one we're going to be dealing with is going to be the one called Timer Pro Data. This is the one where we're going to put the data coming down to the device and going back up uh, to the PC. Now, while obviously each device is going to be different. This is what my uh, smartphone looks like. And you can see the different uh, uh, folders that are in here. Now, what we're interested in is this folder right here, Timer Pro Data. That's where uh, all your data is going to reside on the Android device. So if we click on this, you can see the folders that the files already have in here. So you can see the assembly, the receiving, the warehouse one we've been using throughout the demo as we go through here. Uh, the inspection and so forth. These are the files that are already in that particular folder. So if I'm going to minimize this here, right, and now we're ready to download the template I have here, set up with all this uh, basic information here. We go to the main menu, we say download the PDA. You get two choices. If you're working with a pocket PC, you would take this one. But since this is the Android we're dealing with here, we click on Android here. And we say where it wants to go. It's going to actually be able to find it. You might already, if you don't already have it, you can locate the drive. You look for the Timer Pro data folder, and this is where we're going to put it. And you can see it's going to be called device test.db3. DB3 is the database that works in the Android. So whatever you call it in Excel is what it's going to be called inside the Android device. And then we click on the save here, and it's going to start flicking through the various pages. It doesn't take long, and it's going to tell you when it's done. So now if I open up the, um, the uh, view of the data, which is down in here, tpro data, uh, indeed, uh, we do a view details, and I sort it here. Right, here's the device test. That's the one that we just downloaded into the device right here. Now, when, you, when you're using the USB mass storage option, uh, this is what will be on your uh, handheld device. Uh, while you're communicating between the PC and the PDA. And what we'd like to do here is turn it off. So you can unplug the cable, but it's better to turn it off. You click on the turn off here. And of course, it'll then return you to say it's waiting to be used again. So then what you can do is you can select the uh, screen to go back in again. And then you click on the Timer Pro. And we click on the Select Template. And there, right there, you see the device test. That's what we just downloaded into the... Uh, device from the template. So we can select the device test and say we're going to use it at the bottom left here. You click on the use button and then you can say create a new study. So you click on create new study and we're going to give it a name and we're just going to call it a demo. Okay, we select demo and we click on OK. And now we're right into the data collection and you're ready to start. You see the study name is demo up at the top here. And you can go ahead and start making your entries uh, using the standard time study functionality here.